you know, Bharat GPT initiative. Right. We are given to understand uh, that that initiative, of course, is by RIL, the Reliance is Stable, as well as IIT Bombay, along with a bunch of other uh, universities. It is going to be a joint collaboration, and that collaboration would be India's foray into much-awaited artificial intelligence space. My colleague Krishna Kumar here with me. Uh, Bharat GPT of the likes of what a chat GPT does, Krishna. Right, and it's a large language model just like a chat GPT. Uh, what's in, in, important to remember here is that uh, the collaboration between Reliance, it's a collaboration between Reliance Geo and IIT Bombay. And IIT Bombay, uh, the collaboration goes back to the year 2014 for a variety of things, but now that collaboration uh, between uh, uh, you know, Reliance Group and IIT Bombay is towards uh, the Bha Bharat GPT, because bear in mind, it is a clear uh, you know, a statement of intent from the Reliance Group and Reliance Geo in particular, that uh, it is uh, artificial intelligence is the future. This uh, generative AI is in specific is a play is a, is a is a space where India needs to have uh, its say because you know you can't let ChatGPT and OpenAI run away with it. Sam Altman, in fact, when uh, asked about you know how long uh, you know what about India's ability to develop its own ChatGPT, was very dismissive, saying that it's going to take a long time. Mm -hmm. But then again, if you're going to have the likes of uh, Reliance, uh, the 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 money might of reliance combined with the intellectual might of uh, no less than IIT. Absolutely. Uh, you know, what the best, we are giving ourselves the best chance of coming up with a chat GPT uh, competitor. A competitor of chat GPT finally would be out and about in March, but they've also released a, a teaser of sorts where they are telling you what a Bharat GPT will entail, how it will enable uh, people to, you know, perhaps facilitate day-to-day -day work from yeah. your translation to also learning new skills to coding all of that would also be made possible through a Bharat GPT. This is going to be a large language model uh, and from none other than Reliance, you don't expect any other company, you know, Krishna, to be fair, to have that sort of might or the money to launch a large language based Bharat GPT like model. Right, definitely. And, and, and you're talking about a country of so many languages. You know, you take the Indian rupee note, it has, you know, you could, it tells you at least it, you have two official languages, which is English and Hindi, and you have around 15 listed languages as as languages and translation goes it's you know india is 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 is, uh, is rife with opportunity uh, rife with necessity for that to happen but as you rightly pointing out it's using this using bharat gpt for the being used by average indians for their daily day to day work and bear in mind uh, as far as the Reliance Group itself is concerned, it, it is being uh, integrated artificial intelligence and the potential and the capabilities of artificial uh, intelligence is not just being used in different verticals, it's being used across verticals that Reliance is involved in. That's the statement of intent that's coming in from the junior Ambani who heads the Reliance Geo. This is part of Reliance Geo 2.0 mm -hmm. uh, and the, the, the strategy that comes into Reliance Geo 2.0 which takes into account all the new and upcoming uh, uh, the techno uh, technologies specifically speaking with artificial intelligence ruling the roost and in specific generative AI uh, be becoming that first and most important step that you need to take towards integrating AI into your own operations. Absolutely and the name is particularly interesting it's going to be called Hanuman uh, you know and, and I don't know where the name comes from but this also talks about the fact that they are trying to integrate uh, basic Indian mythology, Indian culture, uh, and in trying and imbibe that into what will be a Bharat GPT. Going back to the statement that you made about how Chad GPT founder Sam Altman, when he was here in India, he doubted India's capability to come out with a large language model uh, of the nature of Chad GPT because that would take a lot of money, it would take a lot of research. But we've covered that ground rather very quickly, Krishna, in, in a matter of a year. Yeah, the thing is that the only question is that we need to know what is Bharat GPT. Let people start using it. Mm -hmm. Is it going to be as uh, you know as incredible as a Chat GPT or a you know, GPT three, GPT four, the multiple versions of GPT uh, that that have, uh, that have come about? So you know it's still early days. Hanuman is indeed an interesting name. It, you know it's a, it's it's a name that uh, that talks about that gives a, a few words that pop into your head the moment you say Hanuman. It's bravery, strength, spirit, character, all of that. The so flight. Yeah, and of course, you know, <laughs> the, you know, getting the Sanjeevi uh -huh. as the healing uh, po portion uh, as well. So the the, uh, the entire hill of the Sanjeevi herb, uh, so to speak. Uh, so you know, the AI generative AI is indeed that healing portion. Uh, you know, for India, for 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 many things, one is to tap into the talent of AI that is available in India. And of course, uh, you know, talking about it being harnessed for economic growth in India and to sort of make the daily lives of Indians easy. Uh, for all of these things, uh, generative AI is going to be important going forward. And we, at the end of the day, we've let other 
countries and other companies take the lead in so many technological advancements so far. AI is certainly at the early stages of development. You only have an open AI that keeps getting talked about all the time. And if we can start that uh, you know, process with Bharat GPT and build it up Absolutely. as quickly as we can, then maybe, maybe, just maybe, we can, maybe you know, we can catch the bus. Yeah, yeah. And then we can just ask uh, Mr. Sam Altman, does he still think you know, we're going to be maybe that far behind? Because you, when you said he doubted India's ability, doubting is a very nice term. I thought he was dismissive huh. of India's ability. I think dismissive no more. Absolutely, perhaps dismissive no more. But remember, all of you who've been waiting for an Indian version of Chat GPT, here it is. It's a good news. Bharat GPT is backed by Mukesh Ambani's Reliance Industries, is all set to launch AI model for India. The AI model has been named Hanuman, quite interesting one at that. The model is set to be functional in as many as 11 local languages. Hanuman, the AI model, will focus on four fields governance, healthcare, education, and financial services. Uh, this chat GPT style model or like model will begin to roll out its services in the month of March. Bharat GPT is a mega consortium of RIL and eight prominent universities announced by Akash Ambani, the chairman of Reliance Geo. The program will leverage power of large language model and generative intelligence the gpt to transform various sectors in the country healthcare of course will be one of those sectors education will be one of those sectors that would be transformed but you know come to think of it uh, there's, there's one thing i want to focus on and that is the consortium it's not just iit bombay other universities have also collaborated to build this sort of model it would only need an educational institution and might and power of a big industrialist like mukesh ambani and his son of course who's at the helm of power when it comes to reliance geo akash ambani who made that critical announcement uh, a couple of months ago and within a few months we do know now that a new model uh, will be launched a brand new model that will ride high uh, india's hope and perhaps growth in ai in just about a month from now right we're talking about hanuman i'm going to keep it with the hindu mythology and hindu gods then you know for hanuman to be created you need the both lakshmi and saraswati uh, so to speak, the Lakshmi clearly coming in from the Reliance Group and the Saraswati, Saraswati coming, be from coming from IITs absolutely. and other universities. How beautifully put it, uh, uh, <laughs> So, Krishna. you know, you, I, I, this is probably, uh, in, in that sense, India uh, making an announcement to the world. Absolutely. Look at what we're capable of. We don't lack the money. We don't lack the intellectual resources. It's all about putting it together and creating something. I, and that's the reason why you're finding this optimism as we talk about it uh, as well. Look at the names associated with it. There's an in, uh, in educational institution from India that's known across the world. It is the Indian Institute of Technology, that's IIT. If there is a, a, a business house, a business conglomerate from mm -hmm. India that's known across the world, is Reliance Group. Mm -hmm. And it's Reliance Group and the young sign of a, a, a Reliance Group are making that announcement with confidence. And it's all part of a larger strategy. So, you know, this is not a one-off, uh, you know, uh, knee-jerk attempt. It's all been in the making for a while. The partnership between Reliance and IIT has been in the making for a while. They've collaborated since the year 2014. And now they're taking that collaboration to this specific area called generative AI. And I can't wait to see the results of it. Absolutely, to be really neither can up. I. Uh, and this is going to be a watershed moment for India. Uh, and Reliance, of course, leading that charge at the moment. But India is geared up for its very first chatbot uh, AI service, a large language model based AI service called Bharat GPT will be launched by March of this year.